In a tranquil small town, nestled away from the bustling world, a foreboding presence loomed over a decrepit house that had stood vacant for years. Sinister legends enveloped the old structure, casting an aura of dread over its very existence. Whispers of a family brutally slain within its walls and tales of an ancient burial ground beneath gave life to its haunted reputation. One fateful day, a group of daring children gathered at a park across the street, their curiosity driving them to test the eerie rumours surrounding the abandoned house. Their fearless leader, Alex, would unwittingly lead them into an inexplicable and spine-chilling encounter that would haunt the town for years to come. On a quiet street in a small town, there stood an old abandoned house. It had been empty for years, and rumours swirled about its haunted past. Some said that a family had once lived there, but they had been murdered by a deranged killer. Others said that the house was built on an ancient burial ground, and the spirits of the dead roamed its halls. One day, a group of children were playing in the park across the street from the abandoned house. They were curious about the house, and they dared each other to go inside. One by one, the children crept up the stairs to the front door and peeked through the dusty windows. Inside, the house was dark and silent. The furniture was covered in sheets, and a layer of dust coated everything. The children were scared, but they were also excited. They had never been in an abandoned house before. One of the children, a boy named Alex, decided to go inside. He pushed open the front door and stepped into the darkness. The other children followed close behind. They explored the house slowly and carefully. They peeked into every room and opened every closet. They saw nothing but old furniture, cobwebs and dust. But then they came to the attic. The attic door was creaking open and a faint light shone from inside. The children hesitated for a moment, but then they pushed open the door and went inside. The attic was even darker and more dusty than the rest of the house. The children could barely see their hands in front of their faces, but then they saw something. In the centre of the attic, there was a group of children standing in a circle. They were all holding hands and chanting something. The chanting children were wearing old-fashioned clothes, and their faces were pale and gaunt. The children who had entered the attic were terrified. They tried to back away, but they couldn't move. They were frozen in place. The children in the circle stopped chanting and turned to look at the intruders. Their eyes were black and empty. They smiled, but their smiles were cold and cruel. Welcome, one of the children said. We've been waiting for you. The children in the circle began to chant again, and the children who had entered the attic felt themselves being pulled towards them. They tried to resist, but it was no use. They were powerless. One by one, the children were pulled into the circle. They joined the other children in chanting, and their faces turned pale and gaunt just like the others. Soon all of the children were chanting together. Their voices echoed through the attic, and the house began to shake. The door to the attic slammed shut, and the house was plunged into darkness. The next morning, the parents of the children who had disappeared went to the abandoned house to look for them. They found the front door unlocked, and they went inside. They searched the entire house, but they couldn't find their children anywhere. The only thing they found was a group of children's clothes scattered on the floor of the attic. The children of the small town never forgot the day that their friends disappeared. They knew that the abandoned house was haunted and they never went near it again. But on some dark nights, when the wind is howling and the moon is full, people say that they can still hear the children chanting in the attic of the abandoned house. So, there you have it. A scary story. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more scary stories.